What's up everybody, this is JTrain again, back with another video, back with another Ask JTrain video. Uh, thanks again for all the uh, comments and questions that you've been uh, asking me. I'm gonna get to all of them, I promise. Um, but I got one today from a uh, username, this is my username. Uh, and he asks, what workouts can you do if you don't have a spotter? Can you still lift, do the same lifts, just lower weight, more reps? Or should you just not do lifts um, if you need a, that you need a spotter for? So, do I like spotters? I think spotters are absolutely fantastic. I think they're great. Um, they definitely help you push, you know, harder. They definitely the, the reason why you would use a spotter is because you know you're lifting and lifting. And you can't get that extra rep, but they're there to kind of help you uh, get it. Now, some of us might not have friends who like to work out. Some of us might not. Maybe they they're, we're in a different gym and we don't have somebody who can help us out. Uh, for the longest time, I was kind of working out on my own. I still kind of do that every so often. I work out with people. Uh, but what can you do if you don't have a spotter? Um, should you change up your workout? Should you do anything like that? Uh, the answer is no. Um, actually, this is a good opportunity for me to talk about something that uh, I'm a huge fan of and that I, that I think is actually a very, um, I guess, important factor to what I feel is like the success that I've, 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 I've gone through uh, with bodybuilding, and that's drop sets. So, if you don't have a friend who can push you, who can, um, you know, help you get that extra rep or anything, and you're by yourself, drop sets are your answer. It makes so you can do the same, the same workouts that you're doing, uh, but but you drop it. Now, what is a drop set? So, if you sh if you come over here, and you see this. Suppose I'm doing an exercise, right? And uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll, I'll drop the weight a little bit. When I'm doing a workout, okay, and I'm, and I'm working hard, all right, and I keep going, doing full range of motion until I get to the point where I'm like this, which is where I think everyone should try to get to when they're working out. This is a failure. Now, let's say you do that and you can't, you can't go any further. Now, the way that you have a spotter, without having a spotter, is you drop it. So I was here at 12. Uh, whatever this weight corresponds to, I step up the weight to uh, to ten. Right here, whatever lower weight, because I still have the gas or the energy, if you will, to to do reps of that weight. So I get a little extra by dropping the weight and continuing the exercise. And again, I keep going until I get to this point, until I get the failure. So you don't have to change up your workout. You don't have to do lighter weight. You should always be pushing heavy weight, if it's, as heavy as you can, if you're trying to put on size and mass and muscle. You should always lift till failure. You should always do good core exercises that completely, you know, uh, incorporate the uh, the muscle you're trying, you know, that you're trying to work. You know, those kinds of movements. I'm just sorry. Um, so, what my recommendation to you is, is to incorporate drop sets. That's how you don't get it. That's how you have a spotter without having a spotter. Now spotters, again, if you can find a friend who you think you can go to the gym with, who will push you and make your workouts better, absolutely, but I can tell you that it's inevitable. There's gonna be times where you're gonna have to work out by yourself, and that's the way that you uh, get over it. So, thanks, thank you so much for the question. This is my username. Uh, if anyone else has a question that they'd like me to answer, leave me in the comments section below. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks a lot, guys. Peace.